Okay, so it is now 9.35. I've been talking to Colt. Just came over to get something to drink. You guys hear that? What the hell is that? What? Wait, you take a listen. Welcome to Tuesday, September 11th, 2012. We'll talk more about that date later. Anyways, it is about 4, 3, 3.40. I'm gonna go over and pick up Kenna. Then we're going to my grandparents' house. Then we're taking a hike. Then we're gonna go to dinner, and I don't know what the hell's going on tonight. So we'll see. It's been a good day so far. It's a woman driving. Well, she has good taste. That's rare. Sissy! <laughs> Sissy! Where's mommy? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, where's mommy? <laughs> Mommy's in the woods. Mommy. Mommy's getting down dirty in the woods, yeah! There's mommy. Eat some sassafras, that's right. He wants to get rid of the sassafras problems. Yep. They're gone. Well, there's an E39. We're in an E39. Look what's behind us. I don't know where he's going. Should I go straight? If he does, if he's not sitting I can't see him. We're going straight. We've got a Z8 back there. Thank you. No, he's in. <sighs> well, now we gotta go find him. <laughs> don't hit the dogs. We're hunting down a Z8. Listen to this. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I don't know why what I expected, but I'm gonna have to turn around and go by those people again. Yep, well, great. One year ago today, September 11th, 2011, I stood out here on this porch and talked with you guys for a few minutes. It was day 273. Today is day 639, 365 days later. And I spoke for a few minutes and I shared my experiences from uh, what was 10 years ago, one year ago, 11 years ago today, September 11th, 2001. Um, I'm going to go ahead and roll that footage now. You can see any changes that have happened in the last year. Okay, so I've been kind of ignoring the elephant in the room all day. Today, Sunday, September 11th, 2011. If it sounds like I have a cold, it's got to be ragweed allergies or something. doesn't hurt. <clears throat> Just a little nasal thing going on I guess. Anyways, uh, yeah, you've probably heard about it all day today and, and I know I, it's, it's a terrible event that happened to this country, but I thought I'd talk about it for a minute, where I was and the, my story and um, thank God n nobody that I knew was, uh, was affected, but obviously just short of 3,000 people were and a lot more than that, including their families. And I'm standing in tons of spider webs, why are they everywhere? Anyways, uh, it was a Tuesday. I was in second grade. I walked into second grade. It's the classroom on the third floor of a school that has now been torn down. I walked into that building. Actually, I walked into the classroom at that point. I got to get out of these spider webs. And uh, I looked up at the TV, which was to my 11 o'clock up high, and I saw two buildings. The right one, which was the South Tower, uh, was on fire. I will never forget that. Um, of course, I didn't really know what it meant. <clears throat> I remember coming home. That was all I heard about it that morning. That would have been just about... Well, the first one was hit at, I think, 8.46, so that was about 8.50, which made sense. Class probably started at 9. Um, I got home. I remember we went upstairs to that office. My mom showed me all these papers and tried to explain what had happened and said these two buildings, the tallest buildings in the United States, uh, have been destroyed by terrorists. And obviously that changed our nation forever. So that's my experience. I will never forget that day. Um, it's been engraved, and which is odd because at the time it was, you know, I just thought, wow, there must, it must be a movie or something. But obviously we know that is, this is not true. So I pay my respect to uh, anybody that was affected that day. Uh, we've come a long way since then, but we've got a long way to go. Uh, so leave me your story below. Where were you? How old were you? What do you remember about it? Um, you know, leave what you're comfortable leaving. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow in day 274. Welcome back to 2012. It's been 11 years since, I think, 
definitely the greatest attack on our country. Um, I will never forget that day. Uh, walking into that class that I just mentioned, it was room 211, Mrs. Siebert was the, was the teacher. I walked into that class shortly before 9, saw two buildings on the TV about 7 feet above my head, right one, South Tower on fire. Um, I just came in from watching a whole two hour thing on the History Channel called Remembering 9-11. I, I will never forget that as an American. Um, so again, like I said last year, if you want to leave your stories or any thoughts below, uh, go ahead and do that. We can all kind of relate to this, even if you're not from the United States. And if you don't know what happened, then I, I don't even know. I don't know what to say. So this is pretty familiar from exactly one year ago, huh? I was walking out here, I had a bit of a sinus thing going on, as I mentioned, but now it's a perfectly clear night. It's about 60 degrees, it feels kind of cool, and it probably sounds and looks exactly the same to you one year later. Uh, but a couple of things on a lighter note, watching that footage from 9-11-01, it's amazing how much this country's changed, not due to that disaster, but how much this country's changed in 11 years. The fact that people really, they had cell phones, but the networks were down, the video that people had on their phones or camcorders was very, excuse me, poor. Um, and now, if a disaster were to happen like that, God forbid, of course, um, everybody would have an iPhone or a droid or some phone that there would be a thousand times more footage and detail of the accurate details of everything that happened. Um, so it's, it's, it's a different world. Of course, due to that, look at flying, what secure national security is. And flying in an airplane on September 10th, 2001 versus September 10th, 2012. I think the worst was probably in the, the very near years after 01, but it's still a totally different experience. So today we did that hike. I apologize I didn't feel much of it. It was really easy. We just walked around the lake, up a little hill through a woods. It was 1.2 miles. Um, so that's one of 12 done. I'd like to do all the Metro Park walks this, this year. It was a beautiful day today. Tomorrow's Wednesday, the iPhone day. I'm very excited for that. I'm going to be in the planetarium. That's what that machine's called it, that projects the solar system up on the dome in the lecture hall. So uh, we're not allowed to have technology out from 1.10 to 2 o'clock. So I will have 10 minutes of uh, the footage and they'll probably start a few minutes late so I'm not going to see anything or hear anything about it until I get out of that class at uh, 2 o'clock. We could get out early, it's not a huge deal that I see or don't see it right when it happens, but I've got a 15 minute commute afterwards back to the M5 out in the Summit East lot, so I will be able to see what is going on with Apple in the future at that point in time. Um, we saw that Z8, we were unable to, it was behind me for a couple turns and then we lost it, but I've seen it before, it's a beautiful car, black 01 or 3, 2, I don't know, Z8 with uh, the S62 engine and my transmission, if, unless it's an Alpina, then it's the 540 manual or automatic transmission and the, L, the 4.4 liter V8 with 289 horsepower. Uh, anyways, I saw Colt mentioned it in his vlog yesterday, tremendous congratulations to him on his first car, if you don't know, go check out his vlog youtube.com slash Colts Vlogging. I'll try to remember to put a link down below. It's a 2001 black, jet black BMW 540i. Very cool, and it's a six speed with the M Sport Pack. And so congrats, buddy, that's an awesome car. With that, I'm gonna go inside. I've got a crap ton of YouTube stuff I'm not gonna get done tonight. I have a class at 8.50, so that means I'm up at like 7.30 tomorrow, which sucks. Um, the good news is I do have a two and a half hour dead zone in between classes tomorrow that I'll be able to go and sit in the student center and catch up on everything that doesn't get done tonight. So that is it. Remember 9-11, remember all of the heroes and the amazing people that, that helped other people that day and in many ways made our country grow stronger and of course uh, tore it apart, unfortunately. But uh, leave me some comments and thoughts and experiences down below if you're comfortable doing so and I'll talk to you tomorrow in 640. Good night.